In today's video, we're going to find out what happens when the Futurama boss Bender meets the brand new boss Relic who was added in in this season. This is going to be an interesting fight between these two. Previously, we just did High Card versus Boss Bender. Now we're going to find out what happens when the Relic meets the Bender from the Future Armor series. So if you haven't already, roughly 98% of you guys watching this video aren't already subscribed, so turn that subscribe button. And if you happen to know the name of this skin on screen right now, comment it down below and I'll be hot in all the comments that get it correct. So let me know if you know the name of the skin. So what was the plan for today's video? Well, the plan for today's video was to locate the spawn location of the boss bender who we can hire over at the Mega City and then take him over all the way to the location where Relic spawns and then see what happens when these two meet, who will win in the battle between these two. Let's find out, let's jump in. Okay. So now we had to locate the location of Bender, grab Bender, and then take him over to Relic. So Bender would usually or guaranteed spawn inside of the Mega City. So if we dive over there, we should be able to find him, hire him, and then take him over. So this is where he spawns. We're going to grab ourselves a bite, obviously, because then we can pot him possibly on the bite. And then we'll grab Bender and take him over to the location of Relic. So we'll grab ourselves some gold because you happen to have zero gold in custom games. It would be nice if Fortnite did give us some gold in here, but I currently have zero gold. So I've got to capture a point. This point should give me enough gold to actually gain enough to actually be able to hire the boss, I believe. Maybe. I might need to get another 50, actually. How much do I get from here? 200. So, is he 200 or is he 250? I'll just be sure and get 250. So, let's go and get another capture point just in case we need some extra gold. Wow, I'm pretty bad at driving these off-road. These ain't easy to drive off-road. I wish these were a lot easier to drive. All right, let's keep moving over and we'll head over to... I think we'll go Frenzy Fields. Yeah, so Frenzy Fields should have enough gold for us to 100% guarantee the higher just in case he is 250. I'm pretty sure he is 200, but just to be certain, we don't want to mess it up. So let's make sure that we do get this right here and we don't like miss our opportunity. So let's go in over to the Frenzy Field location, hire it, and then we should be set to get an extra gold as well as a little backup. So that should come in quite nicely. So let's get in here and just take out this wolf here. We don't want that trying to eliminate us and we should be able to capture the point. Then this should be enough. I think to get ourselves the gold so yeah we got it so 200 200 yeah it's 400 that's pretty much set I'm pretty sure that should be enough actually I think it is 200 so Waken's got 250 just in case so let's go over and get this geezer hired and he should be spawning in somewhere around here he's on is he on this section oh no I've gone past him he's to turn around turn around turn around turn around he's on the other I always forget where he spawns he doesn't spawn on this section he actually spawns on the other section so I can just run over there we run out of fuel but we can you go and grab a car we'll just go and hire this geezer over here and he should be spawning on there he is there he is Bender's down here so we can go over hire the Bender boss I, I, he isn't technically a boss he's an NPC but the abilities he has and the health and the accuracy makes him almost like the Zig and Choppy boss he's almost like a copy and paste of the Zig and Choppy boss his accuracy is so good and his health is really high as well much higher than normal NPCs and he gives you ammo so he's basically just like a boss NPC so we're just going to give him the name boss because in my books he would definitely be a boss if he was hostile so yeah let's keep moving him over it's kind of like saying foundation is foundation a boss or not you know couldn't hire him but he was pretty powerful so yeah it's one of them all right let's keep moving him in though come on bender we're going to take you over we'll let awake and drive ourselves over there while we chill here all right we're chilling here if you guys haven't already don't forget toy box has all the new weapons and items that get added into Fortnite the second they get added in so that's the map for you guys if you want to play it you can pop in there you can try out all the new weapons and stuff i've got them all in there for you so feel free to go and give it a go try it out i think you guys will love it i use toy box all the time to practice and get better at the game and also just try out all the new guns with subscribers and friends so yeah definitely worth playing it if you get a moment the code's on screen pop in if you want so back to the video you can see bender's now trying to eliminate wolves and chickens it looks like or maybe actually no he's not he's fighting the uh, the bees or the flies or the wasp whatever they're called he's trying to eliminate them he's actually doing a really good job look how good he is with his accuracy so i'm actually really excited to see who's going to win between these two because we did high card versus bender we know the result of that so let's see what happens against relic because relic's a little bit different from high card because he's got better accuracy better invisibility he does beat high card so it's going to be close between these two to see if Bender is stronger. So we're now arriving at Relic's spawn point, which is over at the Rumble Ruins. And Relic will spawn in the centre section in here. So if we do rotate up here nicely, that was a really bad drive. Oh, that's not good. We're kind of stuck, but hopefully we can flip it. If not, we should be able to walk from here. I think we got it, we got it, we got it. Alright, come on Bender, let's take you over to the Relic spawn. The Relic's going to be spawning up there on Rumble Ruins, which we've got to get up to. There should be a little path around here that just takes us up. If we go up here, there we are. Come on car, we got to get up this hill. Is it going to even, it's not even letting us up there for some reason. It's, it's so strange. Is this going to work? Oh, okay. These ramps are just instantly getting destroyed by the car. That is super weird. That never used to happen. When did the car just one-shot ramps? I don't even know. 
Oh, there we go, there we go. We got up, we got up. Perfect. So we can go through across this bridge over here, and then Relic will spawn in the Rumble Ruin section. Another little flip. Lovely. Okay, now there we are. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Bandit, let's get you over there. All right, Relic will spawn literally in the center here where I'm marking now. So we go over there, we'll find the location of Relic, and then be able to get Bender in the action to see who's going to win in this 1v1 situation. I'm super excited for it, actually. Bender's a really powerful NPC, like I said, and Relic is really strong as well. So let's get in here, locate Relic, which should be up on this upper section, and then we'll see them fight. Okay, Relic, where are you? Let's see if we can locate him. Do I see him? No, I don't see him yet. I don't see him. He's not over there. I'm looking around. I don't see him. Is he up there? He's not here yet. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's actually visible currently. He's not in his invisible state. So this gives us the opportunity to send Bender in into the action against Relic. All right, Bender. Here we go. Let's send you in, bro. Here we go. In he goes. Moving in target. Here we go. 1v1. Right now, Bender versus Relic. So we've directed Bender in. He's moving in. He's shooting and hits Relic a little bit. And Relic does teleport away. Let's switch over to the replay and check this out. So Relic teleports far over here. Bender switches his angle, trying his best to hit Relic. But Relic is invisible. But he does actually manage to track him and get that 11 hit on him. Missing that shot there. Bender is missing a few. But Relic is also targeting on us, which gives Bender a little bit of advantage there. Gets about four hits of 11 damage on him. Nice little shot. So where has Relic gone? Bender's in the search for the Relic boss. Relic is not currently visible just yet. We know that Relic can be hard to see, but you can just about see him there. Takes an absolute ton of damage from Bender. With Relic not hitting Bender yet, Relic just absolutely got beamed by the Bender boss, which is super awesome. Relic moving through here. You can see Relic still targeting on us. Hasn't fully targeted onto Bender yet, even though Bender started the action against him. Bender's a little bit confused when he's invisible. You can see he's just kind of looking for him. It's almost like he hasn't got any like special night vision goggles or anything. He's just using his kind of like tin can head to locate. Oh, he's located nicely. And the bees and wasps come out. The wasps do sting there a little bit on the Bender boss, doing a little bit of damage. But also, he beams against the Relic and cracks his shield entirely. Bender is really performing well here, doing a great job against these NPCs, doing an absolute ton of damage. You can see he's still cracking over here. Another bit of wasps coming, dealing a bunch of damage here to Bender. You see Bender does move away from the wasps quite nicely, still beaming on the Relic. The Relic has lost his shield, so he gains a little bit of an advantage here, the, obviously, Bender. And obviously, Relic does have the ability to move instantly, but it looks like Bender's just so good with his accuracy, he just rotates straight away over to where Relic moves to and instantly starts beaming him, but he is missing a few shots there. Gets a little bit of damage from the wasp, but does move away to approach towards the location of Relic. Still beaming in on the Relic, missing a few shots. Relic does teleport away again, going into the inside. The teleportation does give him a little bit of advantage, but also can be a little bit of a downside. Nice little bees there coming in and wasps onto the Bender, because Bender's currently confused. He can't locate Relic while he's invisible. This gives Relic a little bit of an advantage here. Gets a few shots on Bender. Could this be the comeback for Relic? It looks like Relic's getting absolutely beamed again when he becomes visible. Bender trying his best to get as much damage as possible. Missing there, Relic dodging it. In come the wasps again. Misses the wasp throw there. The Relic boss does miss. Oh, and Bender! instant takedown on Relic. GG. He is the strongest one out of them too. Super exciting stuff. I absolutely love that boss fight. If you guys love that boss fight, don't forget to tap that subscribe. And if you guys want to try out all the new guns and weapons, don't forget to go into Toy Box. I'm sure you guys will love it. You can head in with the code on screen. Feel free to give it a go. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.